All right, welcome to the Cosmic Reach Community Roundup for April 1st and April 2nd, 2024. On April 1st, we got a April Fool's update, which was 0.1.18. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different things that were changed here. And you'll have to forgive me if I sound a little bit different. I don't know if I do or not, but I have a stuffy nose. The first bullet point is that Final for Reach has been canceled, so all references to him in the game have been removed. That's been a long time coming, and I've been looking forward to this for a while, so I'm glad that it's finally in the game. He also added the Nostalgic Island World type, which we'll take a look at very soon. Added a hunger and health system for a true survival experience, which is the main thing that I said would cause a boon for the game, a big explosion in the player base. So we're going to check that out and see if that has any effect on the player base. If it doesn't, then I'm not going to create any more videos for this game, because it'd just be a waste of time. You can now eat cheese and restore health. He added a can, but no can opener, so we have to find another way to open it. He added red stone. Added a foreshadowing block, which is pretty interesting, we'll have to see what that means. Added a block that doesn't really want to exist. Re-unused boombox, which is that note block. Unacknowledged moon man, which I'm pretty excited about because nobody liked that meme in the first place, it was kind of annoying. Reverted the atlas size increase, which is only relevant to modders, so now all of the mods are going to break, so that's a good change. Reverted the reversion of atlas size increase, which is um, a reversion of a reverted mod something. He fixed worlds unloading incorrectly, so we've got a double negative there, which makes a lot of sense because it'll keep people on their toes as to what it actually means. And triggers are now per zone rather than per game, which I have no idea what that means, but it probably means something. So let's go ahead and check out some of these changes in game. Okay, so here we are on the world select screen. If I clicked create a new world, you can see we're on this new world creation screen, which I showed during the last community roundup. And we can change the moon type or the world type over to nostalgic islands. This is actually pretty exciting. So we have some kind of generation other than the typical moon or the new flatland, which was just all grass. And if you look, take a look at this, very cool. So this is the first time I'm able to walk around in this game and actually see some semi-interesting terrain. I mean, the moon is interesting and all, but this one at least has some color to it. It also has big pools of water, which I haven't been able to play with yet in this game. So if I was to jump into this water, what happens? Okay, we sink very slowly. Yeah, this is like we're sinking through honey syrup or something. Very viscous. And if we hold down spacebar, we can fling to the top. I'm gonna go ahead and break off some grass here so I have a flat area to mess around. Oh my goodness, I just found a little annoyance. So I think Final For Each commented that he wanted it to be where you can break blocks while in your inventory. But if you look here when I'm clicking on the arrows, it breaks the blocks behind the arrows. I don't think that should happen. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these new blocks. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not even on the April Fool's version. Never mind, I have to revert back. All right, here we are back again on the proper 0.1.18, and you can see in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen we have health 20.0. Okay, so that's our new health system. This is the, the grand new survival system that's going to cause a massive increase in the player base of the game. Let's see, we've got some new blocks here as well. As you can see on the top row, we have this one here. We have this sad block right below it. We have the redstone at the bottom right here. Pretty cool. I actually really like that texture. It's nice and vibrant. We have this weird block, and I think that's about it. So let's try out each of these. And my microphone is partially in the way of my screen. The first one we're going to try out is this here. And I think this is that can block that he was talking about in the patch notes. Nothing happens if I right click on it. It's just a can. And you might be wondering how this is a can. It doesn't really look like a can. If you look at the very top, it is a circle pattern, which indicates the little popper thing on top of aluminum cans. So even if it doesn't look like a can at first glance, it is. It's just in a square shape, or in a cube shape. So he said that there wasn't a can opener. We're gonna have to find a way to open it. And I asked about this in Discord, and someone said to just go ahead and blow it up. So that's what I'm gonna do. And ta-da! When you blow it up, you get cheese. All right, now that we've got a crater in this hill, actually, this kind of looks like a volcano, doesn't it? If we kind of, if we fly out here, man. I know Final Four each recently mentioned that he wanted to add volcanoes to the game. That's gonna be pretty awesome when that happens, but this is kind of your first glimpse at a legitimate volcano and, and cosmic reach. All right, let's move on to the sad block. It looks like on all four faces, nope, only on two, on three. We've got three faces that have a sad face. Let's look on the bottom, nothing. Let's look on the top. 
nothing, okay. And as you can see, the label there changes as your health goes down, it says nutrition required. And then if we keep going down, it says, are you going to eat or what? And if we keep going down, avoid pain and eat now. We keep going down, we're at one. And before we do anything else, we are going to eat some cheese. So let's grab some cheese and right click. Nothing happens, so let's lay it on the ground and then right click. Oh my goodness, okay. We got a sound effect there too. So we're eating the cheese, we're eating the cheese, we're getting one health back, and suddenly we run out of cheese, so let's run out of health now. If you get to zero, it turns red and says you are dead. Please respawn, continuing to play is cheating. And uh, yeah, if you actually respawn, nothing happens. Oh wait, no, your health goes back to up to 20. So that's what this block does, and I'm assuming that this is the block that doesn't actually want to exist from the patch notes. And then we have the red stone. A lot of people have been asking for red stone in the game for a while. Uh, they were also asking for automation along with it and electricity mechanics and just kind of like machinery and piping and stuff like that but it looks like this is all we're gonna get for redstone in the game so you're gonna have to so it looks like final four each might be abandoning the whole automation idea unless there's some hidden ability with this redstone that I don't know about but honestly good riddance because I didn't really care much for automation anyway we then have this block here in my inventory that I'm hovering on as you can see with the with the X's on it and for some reason I can't play it down or I can't place it down it's just making that no sound and my health is decreasing every time I try to place it so that's kind of um strange so that is the survival and automation update for cosmic reach we thought that it would take many months or even years to get to this point but it seems like we got it all in one update and like i said if the player base for this game doesn't explode by tomorrow or maybe next week sometime i'm probably going to stop making videos on this game because um after those two updates if something good doesn't happen then odds are the game's gonna die and it's just not worth spending any more time on oh one more thing there's also this menu item on the title screen or not menu item but what would you call it just a button that says pirate the game and if we go ahead and click on this that happens. A day later, Cosmic Reach 0.1.19 came out, and this basically reverted all of the changes from before, except for Nostalgic Islands, and it looks like he fixed a few bugs, which is always nice. On the left side of the screen, in the channel sidebar, you can see that I added a channel here called Fan Other, and if we look at the description of this, it says share relevant content that doesn't belong in other channels. So the purpose of this channel is to share any content that you create, either internally in Cosmic Reach or or externally from Cosmic Reach, such as a fan Discord server or something like that, you can put it in Fan Other. In the screenshots channel, there is this little UFO build that I thought was pretty cool. So you can see a green UFO and then these red towers in the distance. And here it is in the daytime. We also have the Cheese Dweller, who I suppose could also be called the Cheese Man instead of the Moon Man. And I personally think that the Cheese Dweller is much better than the Moon Man, which I say if you look at this comment right here. In the Worlds channel, we have this new map called Backrooms Level 0 plus 1, which is a Cosmic Reach version of the popular Backrooms phenomenon, I guess you could call it, on YouTube. So take a look at this if you're interested. We also have this Lunar Hovering Base as a world in the Worlds channel that you can download. And he says, I created a detailed Lunar Hovering Base with five sections. Central Main Section, Earth Sample, Nuclear Reactor, and Turbine, Dormitory, Observatory, and... Hey, Observatory. Better not be copying off of me. Mining Laser Cannon. And then I hope that totally soup reviews this map in one of its what community <laughs> community roundups so i will do that it looks pretty cool let's look at all the images here we have a central room with what appears to be perhaps that nuclear reactor that he was talking about this doesn't look like much of a reactor in fact i think if the uranium was out like this getting hit by neutrons and other things that break down the uranium and induce fission, I think that uh, this entire place would be contaminated and everybody would be dead. But this might not be the nuclear reactor. I might just be mistaking this for something else. We then have this hallway with a strange green block at the end. I'm actually not sure what that is. Oh, is this the nuclear reactor? I think there's these are the fuel rods, so this might actually be it, which is a lot better than exposing the fuel rods to the open air. Here's a little nature room. I like the trees. I like the design of them. We have this dark blue room with a water column in the middle, which I'm assuming is to go up and down as a sort of elevator, which I have in my observatory. Here's a little room with these snow seats, it looks like, or snow chairs. I like the use of the note blocks and the half slab or the slab lighting on top and on the bottom of them. Somebody complained in one of my videos a while ago about calling them half slabs because technically they're just slabs and a half slab would be a quarter block instead of a 
a half block. Ooh, ooh. And here's the whole thing from the outside, really cool in the pitch dark. And the last thing I wanted to show today is this Simple Machines mod. So this came out a little while ago on March 31st, it's currently April 2nd, even though my computer down here says April 3rd, it's actually April 2nd for this video. It says this mod adds working power generator and machine that uses power. It uses OmniPower API for cables. Basic blocks, simple generator, and basic machine. I plan to add more machines, and it requires a few different mods to work. At first, I didn't see much in this mod. I didn't really understand what was going on here. There weren't any gifts or anything, and I always ask for... Oh wait, here's a gift right here, actually. Oh, okay, so this appears to be a battery, so if you hook it up to these blocks, I guess, it'll charge its power. And if you place this little icon block next to it, the power starts draining, and then he hooks it back up to these cables and it starts going up again. Okay, then we've got a GIF here of some other blocks being added that are turning on and off according to this battery power, and it looks like there's a switch block. I'm not exactly sure what's going on, there's not really an explanation. Here is a GIF of a switch, and it looks like he's opening a door, and then looking at the ground and flipping more switches, and you've got machines, and whoa! The entire thing went black. Um, there's batteries being powered on the wall. All sorts of stuff is happening, kind of. I'm not really sure what's happening. It looks like these batteries are being charged, but I'm not sure what they're doing. And here's a solar panel block. Looks kind of cool. I really like the design of this. Then you've got a fluid tank and a fluid pump. And then in this GIF, he's hooking up the water pumps to these blocks up here. It looks like water is being drained. Wait a minute, what's... Oh, he, he placed a water block here, and it looks like it's sucking it up, pumping it through these pipes, and then putting it in this little jar. That's kind of cool. So there's a bunch of stuff going on here, and it looks like this mod is being updated quite frequently. So go ahead and give it a try if you're interested, and keep an eye on this thread as well. It's called Simple Machines. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching.